You've been in many roles all your life, from being an actress to being a children's writer, now a child's right activist, and you have also been Jasmine in Disneyland. So, how easy or how hard was it to slip into so many roles all your life, and how have you balanced it? Um, I think what binds them all together is my love of books and my love of children. So even though they are very different in terms of what you need to do and where you need to be, um, there is a kind of glue that sticks uh, all the little bits together. And that's the fact that I really love, with, love working with children. Um, so I just can't, when you love something, you don't actually, you're not so aware of the difficulties. I mean, there are challenges often. Um, the challenge for me always is managing time. That's a huge challenge because also not only do I like doing a number of different things, they also happen in very different places. So sort of to do a campaign for uh, against child trafficking in Delhi uh, around the same time as I'm doing a, a, a reading of my mother's poetry in McNally Jackson, uh, in New York or doing uh, literature, you know, sort of uh, sessions, workshops with kids in the Imagine Festival in London. Um, it's just managing the time and managing the travel is, that's, that's more of a practical challenge. But uh, psychologically or emotionally, it's not challenging at all. It's just fun. So, how did you come about to be such a popular and wonderful children's author? What was that journey about? It was quite, um, actually it was quite accidental in that my first book, uh, which was called Mambi and the Forest Fire, came out of a workshop that I did with children rescued from trafficking in a, a home that's in Narendrapur, not far from here, called Sneha. And this uh, group of, I mean, I've, I've been doing these uh, uh, workshops to uh, get the kids to open up as a kind of step toward rehabilitation and reintegration. And uh, they're always really fun and successful. And this particular group of kids uh, was very shy. Um, they had just met, so they hadn't bonded yet. And usually it's 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 a challenge to keep every everybody wants to do so much at the same time that that's what you need to control because we do some dancing we do some paint work we do some singing we do some drama we do all kinds of things but this group was very silent so i knew i had to kind of break the ice somehow so i created the character of a very shy monkey called mambi who uh was shy and not so confident because she wanted to fly like her friend the crow and swim like her friend the turtle. And so that's how, I mean, I didn't know what was going to happen, but I just created the character and then we built the story together. And the kids loved it. Um, and eventually they built all the characters, the forest, they set the forest on fire and Mambi ended up saving everybody. And what came out of it was the very simple story about how each of us has its has a, a unique identity which we need to embrace and love. Um, and the other, so I use it to talk about uh, talk about how um, important it is to be uh, confident and and proud of who you are and not want to be anyone else because I feel children these days have so much pressure on them to be perfect at everything. So that's one thing. But the other thing that I use, uh, the other thought that I use this book to introduce kids to is the thought of equality. Um, the fact that whether we jump or fly or swim, we all deserve the same love and respect. And, uh, and then we, from this, we go on to talk about whether we are boy or girl, or whether we're Hindu or Muslim, or whether we are um, speak English or Bengali or um, Hindi. So I 
that's, I mean, a long story to a short question, but that's how that the book actually started from a workshop. When I went into doing the workshop, I did, had no idea it would end up being a book. And not only a book, it's a very successful, it's a, been a bestseller now every year, and it's becoming a series. So um, there's a lot of love that this little monkey gets. Um, so, yeah, that's how that started. There have been wonderful workshops of your storytellings all over the world. So you're very much in touch with your audience, but you're also writing for children, which is a process in itself, I'm sure. So what do you channel? What is your journey for writing for a child? What, what goes through your mind? Actually, the workshops that I do help a lot because um, the more time you spend with children, the more ideas you get for books um, but I you know I've always done a lot of work with children I've, I've been working in child protection for 30 years so a big part of my life has been spent interacting with children and most of my work uh, draws its inspiration from that uh, from actual kind of on the, on the ground work with kids but I also now have a six-year-old, a very uh, naughty and uh, talkative, naughty and chatty six-year-old who gives me a lot of ideas and uh, makes it very difficult for me to write because she always wants to be on my lap. And, um, and then also, you know, I think uh, as Bengalis, we were very blessed to grow up with a very rich tradition of children's literature. Not every vernacular, you know, literary tradition uh, has that. We had that, and you know, and I'm of course fluent in Bangla, and I read all of not only the children's literature in Bangla, not only your, you know, Upendra Kishore, Rai Chaudhary, and Shukumar Rai, and Lila Mojumdar, and Chutta Jitra, and Asha Purna Devi, and Shibram Chakraputti. But I also read the uh, adult literature at, at a very, fairly young age, uh, you know, short and the book, and Robindranath. We were basically at the age that children now read, you know, YA fiction or teen yeah. fiction. By the time I was there, I had read most of all of that. And I can't imagine that that doesn't come into my writing somehow. I'm sure that also inspires and influences my work. And the last question to you is, what is your favorite book in, as a child? Uh, I have two. Uh, so my favorite book is Abul Tabul by Shukumar Rai and Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Thank you, for so, thank you so much for having us, Nandana. You're welcome. And have a great time at the festival. It's been lovely. Thank you. I've had a great time in Kolkata.